the third Sunday in Advent, Year C, from the Gospel according to Luke. John proclaimed the good news to the people. In the name of the God of all people, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. John's message of repentance does not at first sound like good news. John's words are hard to hear, but notice that the crowds are eager to have those words directed at themselves. They've looked around themselves and noticed the way is steep and the paths are crooked. John's words are good news because though harsh, those words show folks the way forward when it isn't clear which way to turn. John's essentially telling them, don't do the stuff you know is bad just because everyone else is doing it. Of course, some of those other people will take offense at our refusal. So we need Paul's reassurance that our own gentleness can be made known to everyone. If only we'll let it. If only we will let go of the safety of the herd and cling to that peace which passes all understanding. Other people, especially those we've harmed with our past actions, will say to us that it isn't enough just to stop doing harm. John, after all, calls the crowd a brood of vipers and asks them who warned them to flee from the wrath to come. Now, we tend to read this as a version of who are you to think you can repent? But what if we read it as an admonition to remember the one who had sent them, the spirit that drove them out into the wilderness to hear this warning? Surely it is God who saves us, the Almighty God who seeks us out wherever we've hidden ourselves away from such accusations, like the fruit of the grain that's hidden away within the chaff until the thresher beats the chaff loose and the winnower lifts the grain so that the wind can blow the chaff away. The Lord who seeks us out wherever we have hidden ourselves and calls even the most poisonous among us to the way of repentance, that same Lord also takes away the judgments against us and turns away our enemies. Our hands, therefore, will not go weak with fear, for our Lord stands guard over us, protecting us as we work to rebuild relationships broken by sin. Let us therefore rejoice, not because we are blameless, but because we have heard the good news that our God does not abandon us to or on account of our sin. The Creator seeks us, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ keeps watch over us so that we can set ourselves to the work that the Spirit has called us to do. In the name of that same Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.